Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, excuse this eye because I'm not finished yet. Well, I am finished, but I'm not doing this eye. Does that make sense? I'm just doing an Instagram picture. Anyways, today I'm going to be talking about the life of a makeup artist. Alright, so I wrote some notes down on how, like, everything I, I'm not how, but like everything that I want to talk about. So, this is my life as a makeup artist. Okay, so first, I kind of want to start off on, like, how I got into makeup. So, when I was in high school, like, if I had any events or anything, my sister would always do my makeup. My sister or my mom. And, um, because I didn't really wear makeup. Well, I did, but, like, I've worn makeup since I was in, like, junior high. But, like, I didn't really know how to do it, you know what I mean? And so... After my junior year is when I like really really got into it and then I was like a dancer for the team and we had to for I was a dancer for the school and we had to wear like glitter and everything on our eyes and so like that's when I got into like glitter and all of that and then my senior year, um, I think that's, was that the first year I took clients? I think it's the first year I took clients, to be honest. So then, after that, um, I just really liked makeup, but I didn't really know how to use it yet, you know what I mean? I would do my makeup, but it was not that great. I'm gonna throw out some pictures when I first started. Just know we all start somewhere. And so, yeah. By the way, this is the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Dark Brown. Yeah, so then after high school, I graduated, whatever. And then I went to beauty school at Paul Mitchell, the school in San Antonio, where I'm from. There, I've always wanted to do hair, all the beauty stuff, like hair, nails, makeup, whatever. And... So when I went, I was expecting to learn all that. Well, I only really learned how to cut hair and color hair. They taught us about makeup there, right? But like, throwback. Like, they wanted us to use like pencils, like eye pencils for eyeshadow. Like, put it there and then blend it out. I don't know. It just wasn't my 4K. <laughs> Anyways. And so then, at Paul Mitchell, that's when I really like got into my creativeness and like, Starting created started creating more colorful looks, um, more out there looks, and so then after I graduated, well during cosmetology, I was seeing clients all the time, and it was hard to balance both. Um, seeing clients and going to school because I did have to go. I went to school full time, Mon uh, Tuesday through Saturdays. And like weekends are the most popular, so sometimes I miss school, you know, to see clients. Because if I wanted to see a client at the school, it was like, I don't even remember how much it was, but it was super cheap. And I didn't get anything out of it, and I would have to use my products, so it was not worth that. And so, after beauty school... Oh no, we're still during beauty school. During beauty school, I saw, I mean, I did my first wedding. So she was my friend from um, church and she trusted me to do her wedding. She's so nice. So here's some pictures of her wedding. That was my first wedding ever. I was so nervous, but I'm glad she was my friend. And we did a trial run before and she loved it. And then after that, I saw a lot of girls for prom and then I did a bunch of these hair colors and stuff and I'll show you some makeup that I did at the school that right here but yeah after that I was kind of building a small clientele while I was in school 
not necessarily at the school, but in my hometown where I'm from. And um, for proms and quinceanera, stuff like that, parties, a lot of people like me to do their makeup for when they're going out or they have a photo shoot or something. Mm, after I graduated is when I really hit hard, like, on everything. Well, like, it took me a while, you know, not like a long while, but I had got into a car accident and for a while it just like, it wasn't anything serious, like, well, I lost my car, but it wasn't like I got hurt or anything, but it just really put me in this like, not depressed, but just like this bad place you know and I just needed to find my way out of that it was just making all types of of like bad um situations I lost a lot of friends um Ira needs help I need my patience. This eyebrow is always shorter than this eyebrow. I gotta cut it off. Okay. So yeah, it was a really hard time. And I look crazy. I need to focus, Sydney. Focus. Yeah, after the car accident, I was just, I just stayed home and I did nothing. You know, I just sat on my bed and watch Netflix and I just did nothing and I was such in a rut and I didn't know what to do I thought you know I went to school for nothing and I spent all this money for nothing I could have done something else I don't know and so um I don't know just one day I just decided to get back up you know and push forward I started seeing more clients I really honestly I prayed to God and I asked him to, um, to show me the way, you know, to tell me what he wants in me, what he wants me to do, you know, just give him my all and just said, take over, you know, and cause I just didn't know what to do anymore. And so... You know, he did. He brought me so many opportunities. Like, I promise you, after I prayed the night before, like, when I woke up, I had messages and messages and messages of people wanting me to do their weddings with five, six, nine girls in one wedding. Like, more than one person, you know? And it was crazy. And that's when I knew, like, this is what I'm meant for. I don't want to cry. <laughs> but, like, I just knew, like, this is what I'm meant for. And I've never told anybody this, like, all of what I'm telling you I mean I probably told like my boyfriend and that's it because I feel like nobody takes me serious as a makeup artist and that's what sucks but you know whatever they'll see me when I'm banking <laughs> and they'll be like oh my god <clears throat> maybe not <laughs> so yeah after God brought me all of that um you know he continues to bless me but um what was I gonna say so today I'm going to do my eyeshadow pretty crazy, but I'm just doing it while I'm talking to y'all, so I'm not really going to like teach y'all anything. I'm just going to talk. So yeah, that's what happened. So that's how I started off, you know? And then, I already said that. Okay. Um. So yeah, I started getting clients more and more. Then this past year, um, what's it? Yeah, in 2018, I um, had a lot of opportunities. I did a show. Wait, was that in 2018? Oh my gosh, was it? I think so. <laughs> oh, I did. Um, I helped my aunt with a fashion show, and here's some pictures right now. So yeah, that was such a big opportunity, and I'm so grateful for that because it really put my name out there, and not necessarily put my name out there, but. Like, the pictures that I took or the pictures, like, you know, of my work really caught people's attention. And they wanted me more and more and more, you know? Yeah. So, with the fashion show, 
it was a big deal and it was with the D. Anthony um, Paul Mitchell's one so after that um, yeah a lot of opportunities came I got a lot more clients and so after that I just had clients here and there you know I actually had another wedding um, I've done a few weddings now and I'm sure y'all if y'all haven't I do have a client wedding vlog and I will link it down below because that one's a really good one that was like a big wedding for me I think I don't know but I love the way it came out and her hair was I also do hair and her hair was beautiful but not the point anyways after all of that you know I saw clients here and there there's a hair I can't get it anyways um what was I going to say? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. So after that, you know, I was kind of getting in a rut again this past year. Just because a lot of things were going on in my personal life. And, you know, I just felt like I was... Honestly, I felt like a failure, you know? And so, again, I prayed, I prayed. Um, and then... One day I was just like eating pozole and <laughs> to be honest what happened and I got I was going through my emails like I always do and I got an email from this is so pigmented like I cannot uh from raw artists and they were like it was crazy they were like we're interested in you, um, would you like to be in the show, like, let me know, like, and I'll give you more information, and I was shook, you know, like, well, at first, like, I didn't know what it was, you know, I have a lot of companies message me, but, like, when you're, when you're still this small, not young, but, like, small influencer, you know, I feel like brands try to, like, use you. And they want you to like pay for their stuff or they want you to pay to do something. You know what I mean? So at first I was a little skeptical. But then when I looked it up, I was like, oh my gosh, like this is a show, like a show show. I was so excited. You know, I called them, got all the information. I'll make another video about that because like that's like a whole nother thing. I want to record. I mean, I, yeah, I want to film like my experience just because... I know that there's probably other artists out there that like get the opportunity but they don't know what it is so maybe they'll turn it down you know and it's a really fun experience so I did that here's some pictures of that and yeah I had a unicorn um the girl with the snakes <laughs> whatever Medusa um a mermaid what else queen of hearts and um my ivy and yeah, I'll explain that in another video. After the Raw Artist Show, well, at the Raw, Raw Artist Show, um, I got a lot of interest. And um, yeah, and so that leads us to like kind of like right now. And I have just been getting clients left and right, which I'm so blessed for. I have a bunch this weekend for prom and next weekend and the weekend after that <laughs> for prom. So yeah. So that's how I got started and like where I'm at now. So now I'm just going to tell you like um, the pros and cons basically of being a makeup artist. Here it is. I'm going to give you a few tips first. So, so like a couple tips is practice, 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 practice some more, still practice and continue to practice. This is me right now practicing. Like, I don't got nowhere to go. I'm just practicing. Because practice makes perfect, you know? Um, another one is to always promote yourself. And I have trouble with this one just because of who I am. I don't know. <laughs> um, what I mean by that is. When you go out and someone says, oh, you're so beautiful, like I love your makeup or something, always have a business card to give out, you know, 
you know what I mean? Um, another tip is, I don't know if this is a tip, but like, I don't feel like you have to present yourself as your work, you know? Like, my mom, my mom, not to put it on blast, but <laughs> my mom always like gets mad when I don't wear makeup to like the grocery store. But honestly, I don't feel like makeup makes me beautiful, okay? Like, I'm beautiful by itself, by myself. I don't need makeup to make me more beautiful. I'm not trying to be conceited. I'm just trying to be like, I don't know. I'm trying to be like, I'm ugly, okay? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just want to feel like I don't need to put on makeup. And I want everyone to feel like they don't need to put on makeup to be beautiful, you know? So this like kind of leads to like my first, um, I don't know, point. Is that like 90% of my clients always, I, I don't know why, you know? It's just, a, I think women just do it all the time. When they come sit in my chair, they always apologize. Like, the first thing you do is come sit down and be like, I'm sorry I'm ugly. Or, I'm sorry, like, I I don't know. They always say I'm sorry. They always apologize when they sit down. They always say, I'm sorry, like, I know my face is, like, bad. Or, I know I'm oily. Or, I know I'm ugly. I know I have this. I have that. Like, and I don't want women to feel like that, you know, when they're coming to me. I don't, I'm not, I don't judge anybody when they come, you know. I don't have the perfect skin. I don't have the perfect face. This is so... Well, that kind of leads to my next point. By saying, um, I just do makeup as a makeup artist. Because it's what I love to do, you know. I love to make people feel beautiful. I love to make people feel like... I don't know, like, oh my gosh, how'd you do this? Like, I need you in my life. Like, I love for people to just have that feeling, you know? To feel on top of the world. But what I was saying is, like, everyone apologizes when they sit down. They say, like, oh, I'm ugly or something. But, like, you know, when every time they've done it, and they've done it, and they've done it, and over and over and over, like, everybody does it. There's, I mean... Maybe one, two, three girls sat down in my chair and didn't say that, but maybe they felt it. But you know, that's when I realized like my job as a makeup art makeup artist is much more than just putting makeup on someone's face, you know? Much more than taking all this stuff on their face. It's much more than that. To be a listener, a adv advisor, like just listen to their, what, you know, maybe somebody told them they're ugly without makeup. And that's what they have in their head. And, like, maybe it's my job to tell them, you know, you're beautiful and you don't need makeup. So, I think my job as a makeup artist is much more than that, you know? So, yeah. Here are the pros. Pro number one. <laughs> is we get to see our results, like, fast, you know what I mean? Like, you do someone's makeup and, like... They go from like a 0 to a 10. No, I'm just kidding. I just said how people are beautiful, but you know, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you go from like a baddie to like a baddie. <laughs> you know what I mean? I do go from like a, like a, to like a. Just kidding. But you know what I mean? Do you? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Another pro is that you get to meet so many new people. Like, I'm, I'm shy, okay? Believe it or not, I am. I'm super shy. But, like, I don't know. I've kind of grown out of that. Have I? A little bit. But, you get to meet a lot of new people. And, you know, share, like, their stories. And, like, some people have, like you meet people you would have never met like it's, i don't know it's just crazy and so i'm i'm really thankful for that i made a lot of friends a lot of you know just people and yeah i need to cut this crease so i will be right back <laughs> all right i'm back i know my foundation like only goes to here and like here <laughs> Besides white, besides tan, 
but it's just for a picture for Instagram and I'm finally done but I just need to like lay my little baby hairs but I'm gonna keep going with what I was saying I had to charge my camera and so I just went ahead and finished and I'm only gonna do one eye <laughs> I started on this side and I was like no 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 okay so I think I was on the pros so a few more pros is obviously you get paid that's a pro and another is you get to pick um, when you want to work and when you don't but also there's a con to that and I will get to that in a bit all I can think of right now for pros um, obviously you get to do what you love if you love doing this if you love doing makeup so one con I know I look crazy but just ignore it um, one con is that people I mean it takes a long time to grow your business because the only events that people are getting their makeup and hair done is um, big events you know weddings, quinceaneras, proms, birthdays stuff like that that are big events and or so I should say it's hard to get started because people want someone they can trust you know when they go get their makeup done they don't want someone who just started last week or started a month ago you know um yeah so they don't want someone who just started a month ago maybe not even a year ago so that's the only thing like it's hard to start and especially to get your first like wedding or something big because it's like people were like oh have you ever done it and you're like uh yeah but like in reality you've never touched it you've never done wedding makeup so my eye it's just so bad i'm ready to take this off but it's so pretty um what was i gonna say oh yeah another con is i feel like i have so many cons and i don't want to sound like oh my job sucks but like you know when you have like a job and you're like Oh, all these things suck and you forget and you don't realize like all the good things okay so these are the cons um, another one is waking up early when prom seasons here I get up up uh, up as early as 5 a.m. and start at 6 a.m. I know that sounds crazy but I really do and yeah just even if you're going to travel to a wedding and you need to start early you have to get up early do your makeup get yourself ready and then head out early to get to this event you know what i mean i hate my hair up um but yeah um another con is when people cancel appointments when people cancel appointments like we understand that y'all have i mean y'all like people have lives you know so i understand when things pop up more clients <laughs> when things pop up and you know things happen you know what I mean I know that like family emergencies happen things pop up you know sometimes sometimes I have to cancel on clients you know things pop up I understand but it's like those people who just can't tell me the reason I don't need to know your personal life but I mean like people will say like Oh, I'm going to do it myself. And then I see, like, some makeup artist post their makeup. Just tell me you don't want me to do it. You know? It's okay. It's whatever, you know? Or I hate when people don't say anything at all. They just don't show up. That's, like, the worst. Because I could have had somebody sitting in the chair. You know what I mean? I could have been making money. Instead, I lost money. So now this leads to my second point. I look crazy. To so my second point where, um, oh, my second point where you need to ask for deposits, and I know that's hard, and it's kind of like they need to trust you, but at the same time, um, that's the only way you're going to make money. Like, not make money, but, like, that's the only way you're going to have, um, like, 
for sure that they're going to show up, you know? No one's going to give you 50% and not show up. And if they do, you keep the 50% and you didn't really lose much. So, in the beginning, I had said when you want to work and when you don't, I, um, I get to pick and choose what days I work. But also, it's a con because, um... I have to be re reliable to work any day. Um, most of the times, weddings, quinceaneras, proms are on the weekends, you know? I can't tell you how many times I've missed my family events, birthday parties, vacations, because I have to be re reliable. If someone needs their wedding done a year from now in the summer where, you know, those are where I take vacations, it sucks, you know? But, I mean, that's my job. And people think it's easy, but it's not. <laughs> Another thing is discounts. That is a con, a con, a con, a big con. <laughs> Everyone thinks they deserve a discount. I mean, I think I deserve a discount. <laughs> when I go shopping, I look for a coupon. So I understand, like, you know, you, you want to get a good deal. But honestly, like, it just sucks when they're, like, family or friends asking for that. Because it's like, they should just support you. My prices are not crazy. Like, they're not like hundreds and hundreds of dollars for makeup. You know? I feel like my price is pretty decent. You know, I'm not going to say my price. If you need your makeup done, you can message me on Instagram down below. But, like, I don't know. I wouldn't go to, like, I don't know. I don't know and the people who aren't in this like beauty community I feel like they don't understand because it's like I don't like I don't even know how to explain it like of course like if it's my mom or my dad I wouldn't charge anything like they paid for me to go to school they birthed me to like they made me this person you know what I mean <laughs> like I wouldn't charge them or like my sisters I do charge but not like charge like i just tell them like oh like tip me whatever you believe like it's good but i'm not going to charge them hundreds of dollars but um i don't know i just don't like when people are like oh like we're friends so like do you think i could get a discount or do you think like it could be this much i hate to put that on the internet i hate for my clients to see that but it's true you know it sucks i spend like my vanity like all my makeup like is more than like thousands like y'all saw that that um i don't know if y'all did but i will link that down below too that christmas um i got a thousand dollars worth of makeup for christmas and that like it was a lot okay but like i have a lot like that was like not even a drawer that's like a little bit and so like imagine how much all of this is and i don't get like pr or anything like that I'm still small, so I paid for all of this. I've had a few things here and there sent to me, but, and I've had a few things here and there given to me, but most of it I paid for myself, you know? Another con is people think it's not a hard job because it's not a nine to five job, but it's more like a 24 seven job because I feel like I never stop working. When a client's here, I'm working when they leave, I'm promoting. I'm posting what I did on them. You know, I'm talking to other clients back and forth, trying to get more clients. It's always, 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 always. And I don't know. People think it's easy. And I'm not complaining. I'm not saying, like, my job is so hard. Obviously, I'm not, like, a freaking doctor, a brain doctor. But I'm a makeup artist. <laughs> and I feel like, I don't know, it's a big deal. Even if you don't think so. I look crazy and I, you're probably looking at me like, what the heck? So I think that is the end of the video and I hope y'all enjoyed. <sighs> I hope y'all enjoyed it and I hope y'all got some useful information. I know I look crazy right now. But if you want to see a picture of this finished look, go ahead and follow the link down below to my Instagram. And yeah, 
so i hope y'all really enjoyed it and i want to do this new thing where i leave a scripture at the end of each video because i want to show share the love of god this is the one i'm going to use today because it goes with an eye <laughs> and i only have one eye done i don't know it makes sense so i will put it right here on the screen and it says no eye has seen nor ear has heard and no mind has imagined what god has prepared for those who love him first corinthians 2 9 and yeah so i hope y'all love this video as much as i did i love talking about my passion and what i love to do and the bad things about it you know the real truth the tea um so i hope y'all enjoyed and i'm sorry about this whole thing but i thought y'all wouldn't mind just you know getting ready getting ready with me and i will see y'all next time don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel please and give that big thumbs up i would appreciate it and i'll see y'all next time bye guys